Hello, sports fan. This is Stephen Hill for Sports Choice Plus, and I'm bringing you a very special breakdown. I'm going to be covering number three, Ohio State, taking on number one, Alabama, for the national championship. Before I get right into that, I want to make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel so you can get all the updates each and every time we have breakdowns here at Sports Choice Plus. And when you hit the notification bell, you want to make sure that you're subscribed so you can get all the updates each and every time. Um, without further ado, let's get right into the business. When you're looking just at this game here, this is going to be possibly the biggest explosion of offense we've seen in a national championship game. You look at basically Ohio State and what they went through and how they were able to be dominant against Clemson University and just exactly what Justin Fields had to do. I'm going to compare um, Justin Fields right now to Mac Jones. When you look at Justin Fields, you see a guy that got his start at Georgia and he transferred to Ohio State. He had a lot of adversity coming out of Georgia because a lot of people were talking about what he hadn't proven yet and all these other things. And he stepped onto the field at Ohio State and has been the unquestioned leader of the football team. He led them, even look at last year's loss, how he took that personal and he came back and avenged that loss against Clemson taking that shot to the ribs as he took in that game versus Clemson and getting up, refusing to be knocked out the game. That showed a lot of guts. That showed a lot of heart. And to me, the young man is 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 phenomenal as a quarterback. You're looking at Mac Jones and basically looking at the talent he has around him. His job is basically easy. Get the ball to one of your guys in space and let them go wild. Um, there are reports right now that Jalen Waddle could possibly play in this football game. I know that Nick Saban was on earlier today talking about how he's running full speed in practice. Uh, the only thing he needs to actually do is do a live practice with Bama. So it's a lot there. When you're comparing both these quarterbacks, two different styles of quarterback, you know, Justin Fields obviously is the more mobile quarterback, but Mac has an arm, a tremendous arm, and he can get the ball out as well. Um, but when the breakdown, when I'm looking at just the quarterbacks overall, I, I like Justin Fields better than I do Mac Jones. I know that Alabama is basically loaded with, they could have had essentially four guys in the Heisman race, but when you're looking at stats, let's just throw stats out the window for right now, because Ohio State basically did not play a full season, so it wouldn't be fair to compare their stats to each other, but as far as quarterbacks go, I like Justin Fields. What he showed me in that last football game against Clemson puts him head and shoulders above Mac Jones where he is as far as his play right now. Looking at the running back position, it's not really a comparison. Let's talk about Najee Harris. Najee Harris is the one-stop shop back and possibly the best running back coming out of Alabama in the history of those running backs recently. When you look at his ability to catch, when you look at his ability to run the football, when you look at his ability to do what he's asked to do, now mind you, you're talking about players like Derrick Henry, Mark Ingram, Eddie Lacy, Alvin Kamara. Uh, a lot of guys have been through the Bama program but when he has that complete package and he does everything that Alabama asks him to do, that's very impressive. Being able to block well as well, being able to not only pick up uh, blitzes, but also being having the soft hands to be able to get out and make things happen and create mismatches as a wide receiver in the offense. That's very big. And I think that when you're looking at the X factor there, Najee Harris is going to be a very big X factor in this game. Saban will let him loose in this offense. And I think that he's going to go out on top as a senior as far as the best production as he can give them for the game. You look at the wide receiver side, uh, Garrett Wilson and Chris, they have their hands full facing these Bama defensive uh, backs. It's going to be interesting to see how Justin Field uses his run game versus the pass game because when you're thinking about Ohio State, you're thinking these guys have elite wide receivers. They could possibly run the ball a little bit. I don't believe they'll be able to run the ball versus Bama. I think they'll be able to throw the ball versus Bama, and they'll be able to put up a lot of points. When you look at Patrick Sertan on the other side for the cornerback position for Bama, he could play corner, he could play safety, he could play a little bit of linebacker. The young man is a proven talent, just like his father. A lot of you guys may not remember him, but Patrick Sertan back in the day, I know he played for the Dolphins and a couple of other teams. It was just lights out how nasty he was and physical he was as a corner slash safety, and his son's following right in his footsteps. And then you look at Bama's overall uh, just how they're able to move the ball up and down the field. Can Ohio State slow them down? I do believe they'll be able to slow them down a couple of drives, but not every drive. If you're looking at the wide receivers for Bama, obviously you have a Heisman Trophy winner in Devontae Smith. As I mentioned before, Jalen 
Um, Waddle may be back for this game, and that's going to be truly huge for this football game. It's going to be in a game of adjustments. When you're looking at overall where these teams' weaknesses are, and you look at how special they've been playing throughout the season, Ohio State really doesn't have that big of a chink in their armor. Bama, same thing here, because a lot of their games have been blowouts because of the talent level on their actual roster. The discipline it takes to not only score 40 plus uh, points a game, but also to make it competitive for your own guys when they're basically competing against the second unit to see who can score as many points as possible. That's one of the things that Nick Saban has his team motivated and actually doing right now. So when it comes down to it, I look at Justin Fields and I like Justin Fields as a quarterback. I like him winning the position battle there versus Mac Jones. But I like every other matchup for Alabama to win, no matter if you're talking about offensive linemen, no matter if you're talking about wide receivers. And you know if Jalen Waddle comes back and plays in this game, you thought Devontae Smith was something. Waddle is that much more of a deep threat. And I think that if he's anything close to 100%, you could see both these guys putting up a, a buck 50 plus in this football game as far as catches and, and, and receiving yards. So. I'm picking Alabama to win this game. I like both these teams, but when it comes down to it, it's just too much talent on the offensive side of the ball for Alabama. I don't think Ohio State's going to be able to stop them from running the ball. I don't think they're going to be able to stop them from passing the ball too much, but I think it's going to be a dominant game for both these teams on offense. Whoever can figure who out in the third quarter, that's going to probably be the game winner here. And I think Alabama's going to take full full display on this uh, championship stage and they're going to make it a big game for them as a showcase so all you Ohio State fans all you Bama fans get in the comment section below and definitely check out Sports Choice Plus for all the updates each and every time we have breakdowns here at Sports Choice Plus I thank you so very much for supporting my channel and my YouTube podcast thank you so very much good people and happy new year everybody